Ah, how good to see Dave again and have a break from all this. But here we are again. By the way, are you sure? Dragon One, of course I'm sure. Well, that changes things. I didn't expect this. What? The baby? Or you becoming Emperor? Both, to be honest with you. What are you going to do? I don't know. Something's not right. It doesn't add up. Well, I don't want to have the baby here. I want to go home. I could seed the crown. It should have been you becoming Empress. Uh-uh. You're the last Dragonborn, the rightful heir to the throne. Blackwell said it himself. I need you now more than ever. Please, don't leave me here alone. Rigmore, I would never leave you alone. Not now, not ever. Please take me home, Dragonborn. Let's have Blackwell look after things here. If he needs us, he can send for us. Majesty, my lady. Here he is. Ask him. Ask him about what happens next. Blackwell, what happens next? Well... There will be a small interim phase, so correspondence can be sent to those that need to be informed, such as dignitaries and the royal houses of Tamriel. They shall be invited to the coronation, which in this case I suggest be arranged at the same time, as Rigmore is now the High Queen of Cyrodiil. But first, we need to protect the integrity of our queen and the child. So, first I suggest Rigmore takes up the name of the House of Mead. Rigmore Mead? <laughs> yeah, right. It might only be a temporary change, but also a necessary one. Majesty, depending on how we go forward from here, I have another suggestion. Go on, Blackwell. I suggest you arrange a marriage at the soonest opportunity. You, as the last Dragonborn, are the rightful heir to the throne. As soon as I heard of your accomplishments, I knew it was fact. That not only were you gifted the Thum, but also with the ability to absorb the souls of dragons. That you were anointed by Akatosh himself as the rightful heir, before even taking the crown. If you find that arrangement to be impossible for whatever reason, there are alternative ways to proceed. What other arrangements? A partnership or friendship ceremony, for the child's sake. It would not be binding, and you could both live separate lives. Where there is an understanding between you and shared responsibilities. Especially if you decide to seed. Or you could seed the crown. Rigmore becomes empress, and you go back to what you were doing before. I will ask Rigmore's hand in marriage in good time, when I am ready. Understood. My lady... The Dragonborn and I shall return to Bruma for the time being, and leave you in charge as caretaker. Maybe... Maybe Titus Mead II will return someday. We will, of course, comply with anything you ask of us. Of course, my lady. As the former Countess of Bruma, administration will pass to Sigun. Bruma will, by default, become a royal city and imperial place of residence. There is a small matter that needs to be attended to, but that can wait for the time being. I'm sure both of you need time to adjust to the new situation you find yourselves in. The traitors Leowin, Chadenhall, and Coral have all been dealt with, permanently, and the houses of Coral and Chadenhall, for the time being, have passed on to their next of kin. Leowin? Leowin is in need of a new count. I suggest Cassius Varon. It is imperative we have someone we can trust, implicitly. His naval expertise would suit the county and protect the Nibbin Bay, especially as the disbanded bandit army has gone to ground in the border regions of Black Marsh, elsewhere in Valenwood. Of course, Quintus was another option to consider, but with growing tensions in Hammerfell, it would be prudent to have him remain there for the time being. Agreed. Blaywin is key to protect the Citadel, especially if the Akaviri launch an attack. I shall get on to it at once. I shall arrange the necessary correspondence announcing the change of dynasty and forthcoming coronation to be sent to whom it may concern, 
so expect immediate interest and requests for parley, especially from the Elder Council in exile and the Aldmeri Dominion, who I suspect will want to discuss the restoration of the White Gold Concordant. Yeah, right. Lady Rigmore, take this opportunity to relax as best you can. Of course, return home to Bruma. But soon, whether you like it or not, you will need to adapt and come to terms with your new situation. Once the news has reached the far corners of Tamp... Nern, and you address the foreign dignitaries and your subjects, you must respect their expectations and act accordingly, befitting a queen. Hey, I'm not the Emperor, and I put up with this kind of stuff from Malasam long enough, so drop it, Blackwell. But you are still the Queen. Rightfully so, as the Dragonborn is the rightful heir to the Imperial Throne by right of combat. I realize this situation is not perfect, or even expected. I am sure it comes as a surprise to all of us, but here we are. It's not the first time in the history of monarchies that things have turned out... exceptional... But we must all agree that the recent events that have brought us here are indeed exceptional. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. I'm just worried, I guess. I, I don't know. Rigmore, I have been on the receiving end of your... <clears throat> diplomatic parlay. You have proven, beyond doubt, your ability to lead, to strategize, to stand up, shoulders back head held high in the face of overwhelming odds. And with the Dragonborn by your side? If it's peace you want, if it's a home to go where you can raise a child in safety, you have a place alongside the Dragonborn to make this real, to make it a success because no one is going to make that success for you. So please, do take the time to return to Bruma, appoint a lady-in-waiting, and send her here to the palace as to arrange the royal suite. I take it you have dealt with... Sir Robert? Not yet. Then I leave his fate up to you. If you will permit me, I have matters to attend to. I shall send word if something important comes up and your presence is required. My lord. My lady. Dragonborn. What is it? How do you feel about all this? A little unsure. I just can't put my finger on it. You? Unsure? I'm a victim of all of this, just like you. More so in many ways. I understand. I really do. I know. We've been through a lot, haven't we? We share a destiny. I know that. We have both suffered from amnesia. I don't know what I would have done if you hadn't been there for me. Been there for all of us. I know I'm not perfect, but you've always been there to carry me when I fall, to put me back together when I'm broken. I would do the same for you in a heartbeat. I'll always have your back, and I want you to know you are kind and stronger than you know. You're my Dragonborn, and I'll protect you always. I love you. I love you too. What now? Can you take me home now? This is your home now. You know what I mean. <laughs> Come on then. Follow me. <sighs> okay. Dragonborn, wait. What is it? What are we going to tell my mom? Uh, I mean, we can't just go back there and say, Hey mom, guess what? I'm pregnant with the Dragonborn's baby. 
Uh, I'm just worried, I guess. It's early days yet. No one needs to know. Not even your mom. But we don't have much time before I start showing. What then? We'll get married as soon as possible. Dragonborn, are, are you proposing to me? Let me speak to Sigyn first. I want this to be perfect. Okay, let's go then. Guardian General? Rigmore! Mom! Ma, Ingle informed us of Leowin's defeat. There seems to be some confusion regarding the outcome of the, uh... Ah, uh, yes. The war. We went to parley at the Emperor's request. He, the Emperor, attacked Dragonborn. By the gods, what happened? I think it's plainly obvious. I take it things didn't end well for him. Dragonborn is now the Emperor of Cyrodiil and the Empire. <gasps> My word. Your most imperial royal majesty. There will be a coronation after the interim phase, so Blackwell can make the necessary arrangements for the coronation. Come on, let's all sit down. Forgive me, your... Uh, your majesty, as this has come as a bit of a shock. <laughs> you got that right. Indeed, but what about you, my lady? I am the new High Queen of Cyrodiil. Seems there was something in that prophecy after all, Freyathoff. Bruma is to become a royal city, so nothing would need change here, apart from my name. Change your name, child? What do you mean? Blackwell wants me to change my name to Rigmore Mead before the coronation. Might I make one small suggestion? As you know, Carice and myself have always worked tirelessly to protect and serve the descendants of Morgan of Winterhold. Your point? Morgan, as you know, was the first child of Titus Mead I. You could respect her memory of that by assuming the name of Rigmore Morgan Mead. It has a nice ring to it, don't you think? Don't you think? Hmm? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hmm. Thanks, Mount Sam. You know, I really like that. But what I don't understand is... How is all of this going to work out? If Rigmore is the High Queen of Cyrodiil, then Your Majesty must not only be the Emperor, but also the High King. What of the prophecy, my child? Are you...? Mom, we need to talk. Rigmore? What is it? Is there something wrong? In private. Uh, what happened, Your Majesty? And what about Morag? We defeated Morag Sethius at Table Mountain, with the help of the Thumb. And my mistress? The destruction of the Soul Gem caused a rift and Moloch Baal entered into Nagasa. My word! I summoned Boethia with the Eye. We fought and thwarted Moloch and his minions together. The Dragonborn and Boethia versus Moloch Baal and his minions. Who would ever conceive of such an epic event? What then, Majesty? I take it you went straight after Leowen? It wasn't as easy as that, Freyathoff. But yes, pretty much. But you mentioned the Falmor. Apparently they were sent by the Elder Council and other dignitaries, led by a Count Kameas. I know of him. 
Of course, I haven't been back to Bialz for many years, but the family is well known. Lelandril, I think. Yes, that's where his family hail from. Very well respected. What about the red diamond? Did you pick it up? What red diamond? Jante was telling us about... Oh. Ah, yes. Apparently the destruction of the Bridge of Sighs would ultimately cause it to collapse in upon itself. Uh, didn't Sefri tell you that would occur if the Soul Gem reached its zenith? He only mentioned it could cause a rift. He never mentioned anything about a diamond. If the Soul Gem were allowed to reach its zenith, destroying itself, it would indeed have caused a rift. But also, it would have left behind a black diamond. If it had, an amulet of kings made of it would have been able to reverse the sacrifice of Martin Septim, not only allowing Daedra to pass into the mortal world along with Cold Harbor, but also to banish the gods. Thankfully, you destroyed it in time, but Instead of leaving a black diamond, it would have left a red diamond in its place. So that's what Morag was hinting about. What would happen now if... An amulet of kings made with a red diamond? We're not entirely sure. Only the Chosen One could wear it. Whether the diamond was black or red makes no difference. But we can assume it could be used to relight the dragon fires, and it could result in many outcomes. Such as what? Banish both the Divines and Daedra for meddling in the affairs of mortals completely. Possibly it could equalize the influence of them, but at a reduced amount. Strengthening the sacrifice of Martin Septim. It would, of course, be useless without the fulfillment of the prophecy. And we talked about that before, Majesty. Rigmore is with child. By the God! Majesty! Well, that's all rather inconvenient. Uh, what happens next? We were tricked at a shrine of Mara in Hammerfell. Hmm. I knew it! There is nothing the gods cannot do if they so wish it. I'm going to ask Sigyn for a blessing. To marry Rigmor. Of course! That would put everything in order and make things right. <clears throat> no one needs know Lady Rigmor is pregnant before the wedding. We keep this to ourselves. Majesty, does Lady Rigmore know what fate awaits her? Yes, Friathoff, she knows. But I don't want to talk about this right now. Dragonborn, I... I'm going to the cathedral to gather my thoughts for a little while. Maybe... I don't know. Find some solace. When you're done here, would you come get me? Of course. I won't be long. <sighs> okay. Poor girl. So, Master Friafoff, what fate awaits her? Please do share. <sighs> Majesty? No mortal woman has ever given birth to a dragon child. And lived. Well, no wonder the poor girl needs to find solace. But I have the ear of the gods, and they have assured us not to worry. Hmm. What? How? It's a long story for yourself. Maybe some other time. Uh... Of course. Forgive me. It must be a trying time for both of you. 
Majesty, let us hope the gods keep their word for all our sakes. And in the meantime, I'll send that ruffian, that scoundrel, that corrupt scallion Jimmy Tenfingers to search Nagasel for the diamond. It should still be there unless... Unless what? Unless, of course, someone else knew in advance what would occur. But for the present, perhaps it would be best to speak to Sigrun to alleviate any concerns about the future she might have. That's what I intended to do right now. Majesty? Come, Dragonborn. Is there something wrong? Sigan, there's something I need to speak to you about. Something important. I'll leave you both alone and wait outside in the hallway. Please take a seat. It's about Rigmore and I. We've always been close. More so recently, and I... I've noticed how Rigmore looks at you. Follows you around like a lost little puppy. I have only ever wanted the best for her, and because of you, we can all live normal, happy lives. Don't be afraid to ask. It would be an honor if you were to give us your blessing, Sigurd. So we can be married. You are, and always will be, part of our family. Of course, you both have my blessing. Thank you, Sigurd. This is so exciting! Have you both decided where you'll get married? I know of a small chapel. No chance of that. Rigmore wants the wedding here in Bruma, at the cathedral. That's so lovely. We can hold the banquet and celebrations afterward here at the castle. I have quite a lot of preparing to do. It must be perfect, or I'm done for. It's such a pity Ragnar isn't here to give her away. He would be so very proud of you both. That's one of the only things that bothers me. Don't worry, leave that to me. Now go. Make sure you choose the right dress. The best place is at the Imperial City. She will also need a veil and tiara. Who is to be your man of honor? I haven't decided yet. Please don't invite that obnoxious elf. Don't worry, Sigan. I can assure you if he does come to the wedding, he will be on his best behavior. Then go, with my blessing, and prepare for the big day. Thank you, Sigan. This means so much to me. Farewell, Dragonborn. Majesty, is there anything I can do to help? Thank you, Caris, but I think I've got this. Please, let me help. I know exactly the dress she would want to wear at the ceremony. I have to travel to the Imperial City to speak to Blackwell, and to pick up some items for my father. Speak to Blackwell? Lady Rigmore has appointed me her lady-in-waiting. Once she moves to the palace, I need to arrange my new quarters. I could pick up the dress. That would save you time. Thank you, Caris. That would be of great help. Do you have a ring in mind? Not as yet. Did Lady Sigan... does she... Know about the child? Yes, they talked about it. I think Lady Sigan's fears for her and the child would now have been made a lot less stressful, now you have honoured her with her blessing. Lady Sigan might not show it, but with all that's happened lately, it has taken its toll on her. Take good care of her, Caris, and reassure her everything will be alright. I will. Did Rigmore tell you she was going to try and find solace at the cathedral? Yes, I am on my way there now. How about you, Majesty? Are you coping all right with all that's happened recently? I don't think I have much to say in whether I can or cannot cope. My apologies. I didn't mean to offend. Thank you for your concern and your offer to help. If anything comes up, you'll be the first to know. Majesty.
Hey, Dragonborn. What took you so long? Are you okay? I was just thinking about, you know, how we ended up here. It's strange. Because all that we just went through, it just seems like... Ah... Uh, I don't know. A long time ago. I came here because it might help stop the thoughts in my head. From just racing around and around. But it just keeps going on and on and on. Like all this, this noise. Uh, and it won't stop, Dragonborn. It won't stop. Hey, do you want to talk about it? <laughs> it's not like you haven't probably got the same thing happening to you too, right? And here I am, going on as if I'm the only one in the world with some kind of divine burden. Rigmore, we share the same burden. I came here because I thought... I thought it, if I prayed, if I asked for mercy, then, then maybe the gods might let me live. Rigmore, we talked about this. We must trust the gods. Yeah, I know. Dragonborn, I don't want to die. Hey, you're not going to die. Everything's going to be okay. Okay. Well, shall we ask them? I mean, we're all here, right? Hey! Yes, you! Gods! Here I am, your chosen queen, Rigmar Morgan Mead, High Queen of Cyrodiil. Here I am, right here, so don't be shy. I dare you to show your faces here. What are you afraid of? Why won't you show yourselves? Haven't you taken enough? My childhood, my future, and now you want to take my life? I want to live! I won't let you take my baby. I won't let you mess up her life like you did mine. She never asked for any of this. Come on! Come on, you cowards! Where are you hiding? Are you afraid of me? I only wanted to live a normal life. I don't... I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Yes. I'm sorry. What? I understand. I can? But I'm scared. Yes. I understand. I love him. I think I already knew that. I'll try. I will. I promise. It's all right, Dragonborn. Everything is going to be all right. What did you see, Rigmore? Was it the priest? No, it... What? Did the gods just speak to you? I... I can't explain it. I... 
Rigmore. I... I was filled with a sense of overwhelming love. And that everything was going to be alright. And not to worry. But there was also something else. I could feel sorrow. No, remorse? I felt a deep sadness, Dragonborn. I'm here for you. Dragonborn, I love you. Rigmore, would you give me the honor of becoming my wife? Uh, yes, yes, of course. Have you spoken to my mother? Yes, she has given us her blessing. You know I want a white wedding, right? Here, in this cathedral. Yes, don't worry. I will have everything arranged. Yeah, well, I will need time to choose a dress. Isn't it customary for the partner to choose the dress? Are you kidding? Dragonborn, if I'm going to get married, it has to be done right. No, it has to be perfect. Maybe Carice might help. Duh! Oh, I am so looking forward to the ring. You do have an idea for the ring, right? Well... Have you heard of the legend of the white gold diamond and ruby encrusted ring of the lost Elliot Princess Pilvi Hanesh? The what? Dragonborn! Don't tell me you haven't heard of the legends of the white gold, diamond and ruby encrusted ring of the lost alien princess Pilvi Hanesh. Ah, yes, of course. This is going to be the best wedding ever. I am so excited. You know I love you more than anything, right? <laughs> so good to see you happy. So, who's going to be your second? Uh, second? You know, weddings and ceremonies usually require either a best man or woman, or person of honor, that sort of thing. I haven't decided yet. Well, you do know that now that you've proposed, we can't see each other, right? Until the wedding day? You're kidding, right? Uh-uh. No problem. Come here. Give me a kiss. Nuh-uh. None of that. I have a lot of organizing to do. Well... Actually, you have a lot of organizing to do. When you have everything ready and arranged, send your best man to talk to Carice. Bye!